Hey, this is Rene. Welcome back for another video on this channel. Today, I will answer the question which trading platform you should choose as by now, the MetaTrader 4 or the MetaTrader 5. I did such a video before, several years ago, but there were some changes that made me change my mind. And back then, I was leaning more towards one platform, but by now, this kind of changed. So by the end of this video, you will know exactly what speaks for the MetaTrader 4 and what speaks for the MetaTrader 5. I will give you all the important bullet points so you can decide what platform is right for you. Also, I will let you know what platform I would recommend as by now. So first of all, let's start with the question, why is the MetaTrader 4 and MetaTrader 5, like the MetaTrader platform in general, so popular today? You probably know the MetaTrader four or five platform, maybe you worked with it before or you just heard the term. And this is because the platform is so widely used and pretty much every CFD and Forex broker provides this platform. This is because the platform is designed by one company, which is MetaQuotes, and then brokers can buy a license for this platform. So whatever broker you use, and if this pro uh, broker provides the MetaTrader 4 or the MetaTrader 5 as a trading platform, it's always the same platform. Brokers can make minor adjustments and changes to the look and feel of the platform, but like under the hood, it's always the same. And what does this platform do? The platform in the first place is just a um, connection between the broker and the trader. So the broker will give a data feed of data, for example, for the symbols, let's say Euro or Stola, and it will stream these data uh, or these data sets to the MetaTrader platform and the MetaTrader platform can then show them in the chart. Also, when you take some actions in the MetaTrader platform, like for example, open an order or modify a position, this platform, the MetaTrader will then uh, forward this um, task or this operation to the broker. So it's pretty much just the connection between you as a trader and the broker. So why is this so important that you get along with the platform? Because the platform should feel natural to you and the platform should be as performant um, or as, as good as possible. Because if you are in a hectic uh, situation, for example, there is an important news event, then you do not want to struggle with the platform, right? You just want to focus on the trading itself. Or for example, let's say you are an automated trader, so you use automated trading strategies, which by the way is really, really, really easy with either the MT4 and the MT5, then you want the platform to like process your strategy using this trading robot perfectly and to not mess things up. So this is why the platform like in general or a good trading platform is so important. And the MetaTrader, like starting with the four and now the five is one of the platforms that is on the market for the longest time by now. So you won't see a lot of bugs or stuff like this, which might um, interfere with your trading success because this platform is so widely used, used and all the bugs are reported and most of them are already um, taken care of. So this is why the platform is super stable and reliable. So in general, I definitely recommend the MetaTrader platform for trading of CFD and Forex products. So let's now talk about the major changes because the MetaTrader 4 was there for a long time. So why did MetaQuotes decide to create this MetaTrader 5, like a whole new platform? Why not just make a minor update for the MetaTrader 4 to add some features or something? This is because the idea or the, mm, the, the things you can do is in some points like dramatically different if you compare the MetaTrader 4 and the MetaTrader 5. And the biggest difference is probably the way that orders and positions are handled. While in the MetaTrader 5, you always have orders, like when you place an order in the market, a limit or a stop order, it's an order. If you open a market order and it gets executed, it's kind of still an order. And if you modify something, it's still that you just modify this order. If the position is closed, it will move to the history of the MetaTrader 4 as an order. And in the MetaTrader 5, this is different because 
in the media trader 5, if you have pending orders, they are still orders. But if this order is executed, it will then become a deal and this deal then opens or closes a position. So you can see there is some more complexity to it in the MetaTrader 5. And you might ask yourself, why? Like why the hell overcomplicate things? And this is because while in the MetaTrader 4, you were only able to trade Forex and CFD products, there is no access to real exchanges like stock, stock exchanges or futures exchanges. This is now possible in the MetaTrader 5. I know not a lot of brokers provide stock and futures trading with the MetaTrader 5, but it is possible. And to make this possible and with uh, stock and futures trading, there are some more things that come hand in hand, like for example, um, uh, the, the market book, like, like order depth and stuff like this. Like you, you, you could possibly see how many orders are at a specific position in the market. But of course, this only works for stocks and CFDs or only for these um, kind of uh, financial instruments. It makes sense because Forex and CFD is not really traded on one singular stock exchange, for example. So it doesn't really make sense to see volume there. But in the MetaTrader 5, you can now possibly trade stocks and futures. And this is why all of these big changes were possible. So MetaQuotes kind of decided we would have to rework the MetaTrader 4 completely anyways. So why not just create a new platform and then like build this correctly for this purpose from the start. So this is like why the MetaTrader 4 became the, uh, or, or got his big brother now, like the MetaTrader 5. And this is also one of the biggest differences if you compare the MetaTrader 4 to the MetaTrader 5. It is the order handling system. Also, there are some other big differences. For example, and a lot of these differences come down to the programming part. As I said before, for the MetaTrader 4 and MetaTrader 5, like for the MetaTrader platforms in general, it's really easy for you as a normal trader to pick up programming. So everyone's able to write programs for these platforms. It's free, there's a integrated development environment and the sandbox of writing automated trading strategies for this, for this platform, it's like really small. So it's really easy to pick up programming for the MetaTrader. So a lot of people did this for the MetaTrader 4 already. And of course, now a lot of people do it for the MetaTrader 5. Like, where are the differences? As I said, the order system is different and this is also for programming. While in the MetaTrader 4, it's really easy. You just have orders, like everything's in order. It's really that simple. Like you place orders, orders are executed and then they are like orders when the position is open and if they are closed, it's still an order in the history. Um, in the MetaTrader 5, this is slightly different. Like also in the programming, you will have to deal with orders, deals and positions. So you will need more functions you will need more loops and everything to, to like work with these uh, kind of different order deals and position types. So that's a big difference. And this might be a little bit confusing for beginners if you just start writing programs for the MetaTrader 5 and maybe you come from the MetaTrader 4. But trust me, just give it a little bit of time and you will pick up this concept quickly. And then you will realize, even though it is more complicated, complicated in the MetaTrader 5, there are some benefits. So it actually has some benefits also when it comes to programming. So it can make your programs better and more efficient. And in the end, this is kind of what we want for automated trading strategies, right? They should be as performant and as efficient as possible. So let me check what else is different. There's another major difference also in programming, which is indicator handling. In the MetaTrader 4, you just call the indicator directly. You receive the value for this indicator. That's it. In the MetaTrader 5, it's slightly different. Here, you will create a handle for an indicator first, which is kind of just a description for an indicator. And then in the following, you will use this handle to get the indicator values. This is, again, might seem like there's an additional useless step. But if you look a little bit closer, you will see that in the MetaTrader 5, this is, again, mainly for the purpose of faster execution speed and more efficiency. And that's what we want because we are talking about trading strategies and trading strategies that will trade with our money. So it should be as efficient as possible, right? 
So let me check up uh, some more uh, points on this list. I actually prepared a list for this video so I do not forget something here. So now I want to give you a brief summary of the pros of the MetaTrader 4. And I was really thinking about this, but by now I only found two things that speak for the MetaTrader 4. The first one is that it is easier. Like the platform, since it has less functions, is easier to understand. Also the programming, since there is less functionality and the ordering system and everything is easier, it's easier to pick up programming for the MetaTrader 4. I mean, this point is pretty much pretty straightforward and this clearly speaks for the MetaTrader 4. Also, there's another step that speaks for the MetaTrader 4. Since it is in the market way longer than the MetaTrader 5, you will find more products available for the MetaTrader 4. For example, in the MQL5 market or somewhere in the internet. There are more existing programs that can do, th do stuff for you for the MetaTrader 4. This is just because the MetaTrader 5 is the newer platform. But these are the only two advantages of the MetaTrader 4 that I could imagine. So let's talk about the way bigger list that speaks for the MetaTrader 5. So we talked about stocks and futures trading is possible. Then in MetaTrader 5, you have an integrated calendar. So you will have access to news events. And you can also use this for programming, which is a great tool. Then you have in the MetaTrader 5, since like the trading operations are handled differently, they added another event handler. So you can now react like in the programming to operations directly. So if a order is placed or modified, you can directly react to it. If a position is executed or closed, you can directly react to it in the code. And this was never possible in the MetaTrader 4. This is a huge benefit. And again, it will increase the efficiency of automated trading programs by like a huge amount. Then in the MetaTrader 5, the on timer function is available in the tester. Again, this was not possible in the MetaTrader 4. And while we are speaking about testing in the MetaTrader 5, testing and optimization is way quicker. So you will save a lot of time because again, it's more efficient. So in the end, a lot of these points come, come back to the efficiency of the MetaTrader 5, which is maybe the major benefit. So we already have these five benefits, but there's more. Like um, we also have netting accounts in the MetaTrader 5. This was not possible in the MetaTrader 4. There we only had uh, hedging accounts. And this is useful maybe if you want to trade stocks and futures. Then also in the MetaTrader 5 tester, you have multi-currency backtests and also multi-time frame backtests. Like everything, especially in the visual mode, is it, it, it's really better. It's just better. Like these functions were just not available in the MetaTrader 4. So you can only argue for the MetaTrader 5 in these points. Then also you have, like in general, not only in, in testing, but also in normal live trading, you have more time frames in the MetaTrader 5. Also, you will have more objects, like chart objects, and you will have more predefined indicators or pre-installed indicators in the MetaTrader 5. So these are the most important things that, that um, make the difference between the MetaTrader 4 and the MetaTrader 5 as by now. So this list is what I think are the major differences. If you know some more differences, let me know in the comments below. So to sum this up, I think by this, uh, by this time, it's really kind of obvious which, what, what, what the solution or conclusion of this video is. While three or four years ago, I was still saying since the MetaTrader 4 is easier, there are more um, uh, more programs available and back then you also had less functions in the in the programming um, compared to the MetaTrader 5. Uh, sorry, you had less functions back then in the MetaTrader 5 compared to the MetaTrader 4. Like some of these functions were missing like I high, I low and, and this kind of stuff if you have uh, experience with programming. These functions were not available in the MetaTrader 4 back then. But all of this, uh, all of these things were added by now. So by now, I think most of the differences just speak for the MetaTrader 5. And the biggest point is that the MetaTrader 5 is just more efficient. And this is 
the big point that is really making the difference. Because again, I cannot stress this enough, but when you are trading, you are working with your capital, like your money, and you don't want to lose some of this money because the program was maybe, maybe not fast enough. Or especially you will feel the difference when you're optimizing. And if you try to develop new strategies, the testing process in the MetaTrader 5, it's just way better. So you should definitely switch to the MetaTrader 5 or try it out if you are an automated trader and if you only work with the MetaTrader 5 until now. So I think by now also my recommendation would be if you just start, then you should go for the MetaTrader 5 right away. And if you are already experienced, an experienced trader, and you are just working with the MetaTrader 5, uh, 4, sorry, until now, you should definitely try out the MetaTrader 5 because there are some huge advantages. So you will like the MetaTrader 5, I'm sure. And yeah, I, I, I love it. I mean, I in the last two years, I think I really made the shift from the MetaTrader 4 to the MetaTrader 5. And back then I was using the MetaTrader 4 more, but by now I rarely use it and I only use the MetaTrader 5. So this is it for my experience and my recommendation. In the comments you can as always let me know your opinion, what platform do you prefer and especially why. Also if you watched until this point, please make sure to leave a thumbs up for this video and subscribe for more content about automated trading and programming for the MetaTrader 5 especially. So thanks for watching. Have a great time and good trades. Bye.